Some people in Lagos are really smelling. Ah, what's going on in this life? What's going on, man? What's going on? People tell me, please, what's going on? Everywhere is just blindfolded, as in everybody is just doing any uh, What shit? What's going on, man? And this is a sign of disrespect for yourself and the people around you. Please, do the needful. Defend, deny, and delete any kind of odor in your life. Hey guys, my name is Mana and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I know I was due for a video last week Friday, but then I couldn't post anything because I had lots of activities going on. I recently lost my grandfather, so I had to travel for his service of songs and proceedings for his burial. But now I have all that sorted out, less activities, so I'm here to film content for you guys. And before I forget, I want to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'm really grateful for all the support I've been getting from every one of you. I love you guys so much. Hey, don't cry. Don't cry. Do it. Do it. You do it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Aha. Don't worry. Do it. Aha. From the topic, it is quite evident that we have five senses as human beings a sense of sight a sense of hearing a sense of taste a sense of feeling and a sense of smell now catching sense is almost inevitable for every one of us so please don't be going around smelling i beg Nobody is above others, trust me. We all have our moments when we're not smelling so nice, especially when we wake up in the morning and we haven't brushed our teeth. We all have morning breath, at least most of us have morning breath. Or when we finish with a nice workout and we're all sweaty, evidently, we wouldn't smell as nice as we would, or as we should. But if you find yourself constantly smelling or having mouth odor. You need help and I have you covered in this video. In today's video, I will be going from the head down to the toes. And this one is especially for my ladies, your hair. It is evident that we have to wash our hair shampoo condition and moisturize at least every two weeks if you didn't know that now you do wash your hair condition moisturize every two weeks now we have a range of hairstyles to choose from go on with our natural hair braids sew-ins and even wigs i actually prefer wigs because they are so easy to just throw on brush and go but with wigs, you have to really consider maintenance. Maintaining your hair is just as important as wearing and just sitting pretty. We need to wash our wigs. Now, I've noticed a lot of people with damp smelly wigs or that icky damp smell on wigs. Ugh, this thing is so annoying because when someone hugs you, the first thing, the first thing that they smell is your hair actually. They smell your hair because their nose goes right onto your hair. I really don't want that erky damp smell on anyone. Please, that is so annoying and disrespectful. Stop going around with smelly wigs. Wash, condition, and most especially dry your wigs. It's that damp smell that leaves that erky dirty smell on it. So you really need to consider washing your hair conditioning and drying your hair depending on the style washing drying conditioning washing conditioning and drying and then you can go on and style don't style dirty damp smelling hair don't do that please don't do it 
and invest in some perfume. Just spray some perfume on your brush and just brush through your hair. And to leave that long lasting freshness on your weave as long as possible. Personally, what I like to do is spray some perfume oil on my hand and just slide through with my serum and it leaves my hair smelling nice all the time. So don't forget, wash, condition, and dry. And for that extra touch of freshness, use some perfumed oil on your hair, on the strands of your hair. I wouldn't really advise you put on your scalp because you don't know the ingredients in perfumes. There are some drying agents and some perfumes that can rip you off the natural moisture on your scalp. So yeah, perfume oils on the strands of your hair compared to the scalps. The next part of the body, which is just as important as your hair, if not more important, your mouth. And I feel like people neglect it. <laughs> Don't you know what toothbrush and toothpaste is that big? Why? Which one be this now? Hey, now, I said that it is completely normal for you to wake up in the morning with morning breath. But if you notice that you have brushed your teeth with a good toothbrush and good toothpaste and your mouth is still smelling, you might have halitosis. What is halitosis? Halitosis is the persistent unpleasant odor from the mouth, from exhaled breath. That means even when you cough, when you sneeze, when you yawn, that odor seeps through your mouth. There are lots of causes to halitosis and the very first one I'll be talking about is bad dental hygiene. As you already know, you should brush your teeth with a good toothbrush and a good toothpaste. But what people really miss is your toothbrush doesn't necessarily have to be hard to actually get your teeth clean. Make sure your bristles are just right for your teeth. And make sure you use toothpaste that is infused with fluoride. Fluoride infused toothpaste is so important to combating halitosis. And don't forget, use mouthwash for that extra defense to get to all the corners that you couldn't get while brushing your teeth. Visit the dentist, please. Visit the dentist and get your teeth checked at least every three months to check for any cavities, any holes, and just necessarily just clean your teeth out professionally. If you find out that even when you brush your teeth with a good toothbrush and some good toothpaste, and even mouthwash for that extra defense, and you find out that your mouth still reeks, it could be your throat or your gut. Go to the hospital and get it checked. Because there could be some microbiota present in your body that is breaking down your food and releasing a harmful compound called sulfur. Now, this sulfur has a rotten egg smell. And imagine how embarrassing and disgusting that would be. This could really destroy your confidence and your esteem. So get it checked. Go to the hospital. They would recommend some probiotics and some antibiotics for your use. And trust me, your halitosis is all gone. Believe another cause of halitosis, which is your fault, is eating strong, pungent smelling food like garlic and onions. I don't know why people eat garlic and onions when they're out. Like that is so disgusting. Especially when you don't have some mint or a chewing gum. You just open your mouth and everybody already knows what you just ate. Like you Ew, it's mad disgusting. It's mad disgusting, please. When you notice that you have eaten something with onion or garlic, use some mouthwash or a breath mint or some chewing gum to get rid of that horrible smell. And while you're eating this disgusting smelling food, put some water in your mouth Gaggle and swish. Not in the presence of everybody, of course. Particles. All those particles left in your mouth. And your halitosis is gone. There are people that go out and they just think because they have breath mints and chewing gums, they don't have to brush their teeth. 
Are you? What is the crazy? You know the reason. Please drop that nonsense and go and brush your teeth. This is the most important one because the smell travels far. You can decide that you don't want to be up close and personal with somebody, so you can't smell their hair or you can't smell their mouth. But body odor, <clears throat> it flies, man. It flies. If you have ever been in a position where somebody's body odor destroyed your whole day or contorted your stomach in the worst way possible, please leave a comment below and tell me your experience because there are some experiences that I cannot forget. The cause of body odor is sweat. Sweat on a normal day is odorless and colorless. When it mixes up with bacteria, it causes that funky, erky, smelly smell. <laughs> and the first line of defense for body odor is an antiperspirant. What is an antiperspirant? An antiperspirant is a substance that clogs your sweat glands and prevents excess sweat production. When you use an antiperspirant, you reduce the amount of sweat you produce, literally. And the less sweat, the less smell. So when you sweat less, and there's less heat, and less bacteria, you reduce your tendency of having body odor. And I know that it is pretty obvious that you need to take your bath every day, two times or more. Well, I feel like people have forgotten that. Purchase an antibacterial soap, use clean water, get an exfoliating material. You can use a loofah, a brush, whatever you want to do. I don't even care if you are ripping your body off its natural oils. Please take a shower, use an antiperspirant. And the next thing is to use a deodorant. Now, people always think that antiperspirants and deodorants are the same. No, they are not. An antiperspirant, like I said, reduces your sweat production. A deodorant reduces the bacteria and masks any odor. Now, even if it's pretty obvious that you need to take a shower, I feel like some people neglect it. Use some clean water and an antibacterial soap and take a shower, please. This is very important. And if you have a lot of activities to do along the day, take a shower two times a day or even more. Now, there is a big difference between an antiperspirant and a deodorant. People think that deodorants are going to really reduce their body odor. No, honey, you need an antiperspirant. An antiperspirant reduces your sweat production while a deodorant reduces bacteria buildup. These two go hand in hand. Reduce your sweat production and reduce your bacteria buildup with a deodorant. And your body odor is gone. You have no excuse. People always talk about antiperspirants being expensive. They are really cheap roll-ons to use that have aluminum chloride, which is the most common antiperspirating agent. You have no excuse. Use an antiperspirant and then a deodorant. Evidently, you sweat in your chest and your groin area, and I don't expect that you would use an antiperspirating agent in those areas because they are quite unnecessary and harmful for your health. So use in your pits and use an a deodorant all around your body. And you are good to go. If you can go the extra mile, invest in some good perfumes. I get this compliment a lot whenever I walk around the school where people tell me that they know my smell and they know when I'm coming. That is because I have invested in a very good perfume. I use different kinds of perfumes. My friends know me. I am a perfume lover. My favorite scents of all time have to be Baccarat Rouge, Chanel's Gabrielle, Mark Jacobs Daisy and so many others. My friends know me. I hoard perfume and perfume bottles. I don't know. It's just something I really love. And if 
you know me you know that i always smell good quick please creams give you that edge to smelling good all day long because they really stay on i try to invest in edps rather than edts because edps last longer than edts because they have much higher percentage of fragrance in them compared to edts and if you can't invest in high-end perfume brands go for the budget friendly ones i can like send a link down below in my description to give you a list of long-lasting budget friendly perfume. if you can't afford the real deal go for oiled perfumes they have really nice wood oil perfumes and even copy imitation perfume oils to choose from and they smell really nice and they last really long so you really have no excuse because i know a vendor that sells really 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 cheap perfume oils if you want you can comment below tell me you want the link and i will connect you and the final part of this video is feet odor now if you know you have smelly feet why the hell are you moving your shoes in public consider other people don't be selfish i don't care if your shoe is uncomfortable for you stop removing your shoe in public especially if you have feet odor now if you have been wondering how to combat feet odor i've got you covered as always first things first disinfect your shoes wash your shoes thoroughly and use a disinfectant spray especially on the sole of your shoe and let them dry out don't wear damp shoes because what bacteria thrives in moisture and in heat imagine your feet in an enclosed space all day long in damp shoes and you're wondering why your feet is smelling that is why your feet sinks apart from washing and disinfecting your shoes wash your feet yes wash your feet i'm not saying let that shower water just slide through your leg no soak your feet in water and some epsom salt and take some soap and wash wash your feet wash the, your toes and the spaces in between your toes spray some powder and wear comfortable socks and your feet won't smell you won't complain of feet odor anymore you have feet odor after that then you should go and see the doctor because i don't know what to do i have that. come to the end of this video and i hope you enjoyed my video in case you did don't forget to give it a like a share and subscribe if you're new it's good to do good always huh? i say it's good to do good always And remember, love is the light of your soul. I love you guys always.